Good day to you all. Today, we delve into a workplace enigma that has baffled minds for generations. We're talking about the plight of the reliable office workhorse, the unsung heroes, the silent warriors of productivity. These are the individuals who show up every day on time and get the job done without fail. They are the bedrock of any successful organization. Think of them as the steady drumbeat beneath a catchy melody, essential yet often overlooked. But here's the rub, my friends. Why do these stalwarts of the workplace, these paragons of consistency, often find themselves passed over for promotions and recognition? It's a question that deserves our attention. We'll be your guides on this journey into the heart of workplace dynamics, exploring the reasons behind this perplexing phenomenon. So, buckle up, grab your cuppa, and prepare to be enlightened as we unravel the mystery of why the reliable office workhorse rarely gets ahead. Now, you might assume that being the reliable one, the one everyone can count on, would be a surefire path to success. After all, who doesn't appreciate a job well done, consistently delivered? However, the corporate world, my friends, often operates in strange and wondrous ways. Reliability, it appears, can become a curious curse. When you're consistently delivering, never faltering, you create an expectation, a sense of normalcy around your performance. It's a bit like that old saying, a dog bites a man, no news. Man bites a dog, now that's a story. The dependable worker, through their very consistency, blends into the background noise of the workplace. They become part of the furniture, so to speak, reliable but unremarkable. Their contributions, though significant, are often taken for granted, like a light switch that's expected to work flawlessly every time. Now, let's contrast this with the other end of the spectrum, the mavericks, the risk takers, the ones who operate outside the lines. These individuals, often brimming with charisma and a certain disregard for convention, possess an undeniable allure. They're the ones who capture headlines, spark water cooler conversations, and yes, sometimes even bring home the bacon with their daring gambles. Think of Steve Jobs, a man who famously defied expectations and revolutionized entire industries with his audacious vision. Or Richard Branson, the flamboyant entrepreneur who built an empire on bold ventures and a healthy dose of showmanship. These individuals and countless others like them embody the allure of the unconventional. The problem is, this fascination with the unconventional can sometimes overshadow the steady, consistent contributions of the reliable worker. It's like comparing a steady, reliable tortoise to a flashy, unpredictable hare. The hare's every move is captivating, while the tortoise's progress, though significant, seems almost mundane in comparison. Now imagine being that reliable office workhorse, the one who consistently delivers but rarely receives the same level of attention or accolades as their more flamboyant colleagues. It can be demoralizing to say the least. The lack of recognition can chip away at one's sense of self-worth, leading to feelings of resentment and frustration. This silent struggle is often compounded by the fact that many reliable workers are inherently conscientious individuals. They take pride in their work, striving for excellence in everything they do. And yet, their efforts often go unnoticed, their contributions taken for granted. It's a bitter pill to swallow. This feeling of being overlooked can manifest in various ways, from decreased motivation and productivity to a general sense of disillusionment with the workplace. In extreme cases, it can even lead to burnout as individuals struggle to cope with the emotional toll of their unrecognized contributions. A glimmer of hope, recognizing the value of the reliable workhorse. But fear not, dear viewers, for this is not a tale of utter despair. There is hope on the horizon. The first step, as with any problem, is acknowledging its existence. Companies are beginning to recognize the importance of valuing and rewarding all their employees, not just the ones who grab the spotlight. The rise of employee engagement initiatives, performance management systems, and a greater emphasis on work-life balance are all positive signs. 
Companies are realizing that a truly successful organization needs both the steady hand of the reliable worker and the occasional spark of the maverick. But it's not just up to organizations to change. Reliable workers themselves can take steps to ensure their contributions are recognized and valued. This involves becoming more vocal about their accomplishments, seeking out mentors and sponsors, and constantly developing their skills to remain competitive. The visibility factor. Why blending in can backfire. Now let's delve into the first hurdle that our reliable workhorses often face, the visibility factor. In the bustling office environment, it's easy to get lost in the shuffle to become another face in the crowd. You see, my friends, visibility is a fickle mistress. While our reliable sorts are heads down, diligently chipping away at their tasks, their flashier counterparts are busy networking, charming their way into high-profile projects, and generally making sure their presence is felt. It's a bit like a theatrical production, wouldn't you say? The reliable worker is the stagehand, working tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure the show goes off without a hitch. Essential, yes, but rarely acknowledged when the curtain falls and the applause rolls in. And who receives the lion's share of the adulation? Why, the leading actors, of course. Those who command the stage with their charisma and flair. A tad unfair, one might argue, but then again, life, much like the theatre, isn't always fair, is it? The art of self-promotion, tooting your own horn without blowing it. This brings us to our next point, the delicate art of self-promotion. Now, I understand that for many of our reliable comrades, the very thought of blowing their own trumpet sends shivers down their spines. Modesty, after all, is a virtue they hold dear. However, in the cutthroat arena of the modern workplace, a degree of self-promotion is no longer a luxury, it's a necessity. Remaining silent about one's achievements is akin to hiding one's light under a bushel, so to speak. The key, my friends, lies in striking the right balance. It's about showcasing your accomplishments without resorting to boastfulness or arrogance. Think of it as subtle persuasion, a gentle nudge rather than a forceful shove. Highlight your successes during team meetings, document your contributions in a clear and concise manner, and don't shy away from accepting compliments with grace and humility. Remember, recognizing your own worth is not about ego, it's about ensuring your hard work doesn't go unnoticed. The perils of perfectionism, when high standards become a stumbling block. Now let's talk about a peculiar trap that many reliable individuals fall into, the seductive allure of perfectionism. Striving for excellence is admirable, commendable even, but when it morphs into an unyielding pursuit of flawlessness, it can become a stumbling block. You see, the perfectionist often gets bogged down in the minutiae, the endless quest for an unattainable ideal. They spend hours fine-tuning every detail, agonizing over every comma and semicolon while the world whizzes by. This obsessive attention to detail, while admirable in small doses, can be detrimental in the long run. It can lead to missed deadlines, bottlenecks in workflow, and a general sense of paralysis when faced with decision-making. The key, my friends, is to recognize that done is better than perfect. Striving for excellence is important, but it shouldn't come at the expense of efficiency or timeliness. Learn to prioritize, to delegate when necessary, and to accept that a job well done is often good enough. The power of networking, building connections beyond your cubicle. Now let's move on to a crucial aspect of career advancement that often gets overlooked, the power of networking. Our reliable souls, bless their hearts, often find solace in the confines of their cubicles, diligently plugging away at their tasks. However, in today's interconnected world, building relationships is just as important as ticking off items on your to-do list. Networking, my friends, is not about schmoozing or engaging in superficial pleasantries. It's about cultivating genuine connections, building bridges, 
and expanding your sphere of influence. Attend industry events, engage with colleagues from different departments, and don't underestimate the power of a well-crafted LinkedIn profile. Remember, building a strong network is an investment in your future. It's about creating a web of support, a group of individuals who can vouch for your skills and champion your cause when the opportunity arises. Navigating office politics, the unspoken rules of the game. Now let's address the elephant in the room, office politics. Ah yes, that murky, often unspoken set of rules that govern the corridors of power within any organisation. Our reliable folks, with their straightforward nature and aversion to drama, often find themselves at a disadvantage in this arena. They prefer to let their work speak for itself, unaware of the subtle power plays and alliances being forged around them. But here's the thing, my friends. Ignoring office politics won't make them disappear. In fact, it can make you more vulnerable to their machinations. The key is to learn the rules of the game, even if you choose not to play it with the same gusto as others. Observe the dynamics at play. Identify the key influences and understand the unspoken hierarchies. Knowledge, as they say, is power. By understanding the lay of the land, you can navigate the treacherous waters of office politics with grace and avoid becoming an unwitting casualty. The importance of mentorship, finding a guiding light in the corporate labyrinth. Now, let's talk about the invaluable role of mentorship in career progression. Imagine, if you will, a seasoned traveller guiding a novice through a dense and unfamiliar forest. That, my friends, is the essence of mentorship. A mentor, with their experience and wisdom, can provide invaluable guidance, helping you navigate the complexities of your career path. They can offer insights, share their network and act as a sounding board for your ideas and aspirations. Seeking out a mentor is not a sign of weakness, but rather a testament to your commitment to growth and development. Look for individuals within your organisation who you admire, whose career trajectory you aspire to emulate. Approach them with humility and a genuine desire to learn. Remember, mentorship is a two-way street. Be prepared to offer something in return whether it's your time, your skills, or simply your willingness to learn and grow. Embracing continuous learning, staying ahead of the curve. Now more than ever, the workplace is a dynamic and ever-evolving landscape. What worked yesterday might be obsolete tomorrow. This is where the importance of continuous learning comes into play. Our reliable comrades, with their dedication and strong work ethic, are often quick learners. However, it's easy to fall into a rut, to become complacent with our existing skill set. The key is to cultivate a mindset of continuous learning, to embrace new challenges and technologies with open arms. Seek out opportunities to expand your knowledge base. Attend industry conferences, enrol in online courses, or simply make time for reading industry publications. Remember, the more you learn, the more valuable you become as an asset to your organisation. The role of leadership, recognising and rewarding unsung heroes. And finally, let's address the crucial role that leadership plays in fostering a workplace culture that values and rewards all its employees, not just the ones who shout the loudest. It's up to leaders to create an environment where contributions are recognised, where hard work is acknowledged, and where the silent heroes, the reliable workhorses, are given the appreciation they deserve. This involves implementing fair performance evaluation systems, fostering open communication channels, and actively seeking out opportunities to recognise and reward employees at all levels. Remember, a truly successful organisation is one that harnesses the strengths of all its members, creating a symphony of talent where every instrument, every voice is valued and appreciated. Right then, let's take a stroll down memory lane, shall we? History, my friends, is replete with tales of unsung heroes, individuals whose contributions, though often overlooked, have shaped the very fabric of our world. 
Think of the countless scribes and monks who, through their meticulous copying of manuscripts, preserved knowledge through the Dark Ages. Or the legions of labourers who toiled anonymously, brick by brick, to erect the great pyramids and cathedrals that still inspire awe today. These individuals may not have commanded armies or penned eloquent treatises, but their tireless efforts, their unwavering dedication to their craft, laid the very foundation upon which civilization stands. They are a testament to the enduring power of quiet dedication, of a job well done day after day without the need for fanfare or accolades. Now let's delve into a specific historical figure who embodies the spirit of the reliable workhorse, William the Silent, the father of the Dutch nation. William, faced with the daunting task of uniting a fractured and rebellious Netherlands against the mighty Spanish Empire, was not a charismatic orator or a flamboyant military commander. He was, however, a man of unwavering principles, a shrewd diplomat and a master of logistical organization. While his more flamboyant counterparts, men like Louis of Nassau and William of Orange, met their demise on the battlefield, William the Silent persevered. He understood that true strength lay not in flashy victories, but in patient diplomacy, strategic alliances, and the unwavering support of the common people. His story is a testament to the power of quiet determination, of a leader who, through sheer grit and resilience, achieved what others deemed impossible. A valuable lesson, wouldn't you say, for those who believe that true leadership lies in bombast and bravado? Now let's fast forward a few centuries and across the Atlantic to the American Civil Rights Movement, where we encounter another shining example of quiet heroism, Rosa Parks. Miss Parks, a seamstress by trade, was not a rabble rouser or a firebrand activist. She was, however, a woman of quiet dignity and unwavering conviction. Her refusal to give up her seat on a segregated bus in Montgomery, Alabama, sparked a movement that would reverberate throughout the nation. Her act of defiance, though seemingly small, ignited the Montgomery bus boycott, a pivotal moment in the fight for racial equality. It demonstrated the power of ordinary individuals to effect extraordinary change through courage, perseverance, and a steadfast belief in justice. Rosa Parks' story is a poignant reminder that true heroism doesn't always wear a cape or carry a sword. From Codebreaker to Unsung Heroine, the story of Joan Clark. Now let's shift our focus to the realm of espionage and cryptography with the remarkable story of Joan Clark, a brilliant mathematician who played a pivotal role in breaking the Enigma Code during World War II. While her colleagues at Bletchley Park, men like Alan Turing and Tommy Flowers, have garnered much of the historical limelight, Joan Clark's contributions were no less significant. Her keen intellect and meticulous attention to detail proved invaluable in deciphering the complex German ciphers. Despite facing gender discrimination and being paid less than her male counterparts, Clark persevered. Her work, along with that of her colleagues, is estimated to have shortened the war by several years, saving countless lives. Joan Clark's story is a testament to the often unsung contributions of women in STEM fields. It's a reminder that brilliance knows no gender and that true heroism can be found in the quiet dedication of those who labour tirelessly behind the scenes. Right then, let's shift gears and venture into the realm of business, shall we? Now, when we think of successful businesses, our minds often conjure up images of charismatic CEOs, visionary entrepreneurs and groundbreaking innovations. But behind every thriving company, behind every innovative product or service, lies a foundation of operational excellence. This is the domain of the unsung heroes of the business world. The logistics experts, the supply chain managers, the customer service representatives, and countless others who ensure that the wheels of commerce keep turning smoothly. They may not grab the headlines or grace the covers of business magazines, but their meticulous attention to detail 
Their unwavering commitment to efficiency and customer satisfaction are the lifeblood of any successful enterprise. Now let's take a look at a specific company that exemplifies the power of combining operational excellence with innovative thinking, IKEA. IKEA, the Swedish furniture giant, is renowned for its affordable, stylish and, dare I say, sometimes challenging to assemble furniture. But behind the flat pack phenomenon lies a meticulously crafted business model that prioritises efficiency, affordability and customer experience. From its innovative product designs to its streamlined manufacturing and distribution processes, IKEA has mastered the art of delivering value at scale. It understands that true innovation isn't just about flashy products, but about creating a seamless and enjoyable experience for the customer. From the moment they step into a store to the moment they've successfully assembled their Billy bookcase. IKEA's success is a testament to the power of a customer-centric approach that values both innovation and operational excellence. The underappreciated backbone of tech giants, the unsung heroes of Silicon Valley. Now, let's venture into the heart of the tech world to Silicon Valley, where innovation reigns supreme and disruption is the name of the game. Amidst the hype and glamour of the latest gadgets and apps, it's easy to overlook the unsung heroes who toil tirelessly behind the scenes, the programmers, the data analysts, the cybersecurity experts, and countless others who keep the digital world spinning. They are the ones who write the code, analyse the data, and safeguard our online lives. They are the backbone of the tech industry, the unsung heroes who make the magic happen and yet their contributions often go unnoticed, overshadowed by the cult of the tech visionary and the allure of the next big thing. From the factory floor to the boardroom, celebrating the value of craftsmanship. Now let's take a moment to appreciate the value of craftsmanship, of those individuals who possess a deep knowledge of their craft and a commitment to quality that borders on the artistic. From the factory floor to the boardroom, from the kitchen to the design studio, craftsmanship is alive and well. It's the watchmaker meticulously assembling a complex timepiece, the carpenter shaping wood with precision and care, the chef transforming raw ingredients into culinary masterpieces. These individuals may not always have fancy titles or command hefty salaries, but their dedication to their craft, their pursuit of excellence in everything they do, is something to be admired and celebrated. The power of quiet leadership, leading by example, not by ego. Now let's talk about leadership, shall we? When we think of great leaders, our minds often conjure up images of charismatic figures, bold visionaries and masterful orators. But true leadership, my friends, is not always about being the loudest voice in the room or having all the answers. It's about inspiring others through your actions, your integrity, and your unwavering commitment to a shared vision. Quiet leaders lead by example, not by ego. They listen more than they speak, empower their teams, and give credit where credit is due. They understand that true leadership is not about self-promotion, but about serving others, about creating an environment where everyone feels valued, respected, and inspired to do their best work. The importance of mentorship. Passing the torch to the next generation. And finally, let's touch upon the crucial role of mentorship in nurturing the next generation of leaders, innovators and unsung heroes. Mentorship is about passing on the torch of knowledge, experience and wisdom to those who follow in our footsteps. It's about guiding, supporting and empowering others to reach their full potential. Whether you're a seasoned executive or a recent graduate, you have something valuable to offer. Share your knowledge, your skills and your experiences with those who are just starting out. Become a mentor, a guide, a champion for someone else's success. Remember, my friends, 
The greatest legacy we can leave behind is not what we achieve for ourselves, but what we inspire in others. So let us all strive to be both mentors and mentees, to learn from those who came before us and to guide those who will come after us. The data speaks, unveiling the research on recognition and reward. Let's turn our attention to the realm of research. What does the data tell us? The findings are quite revealing. Studies show a clear link between recognition, motivation and performance. A 2012 study found a 29% higher engagement in recognised organisations. Yes, 29%. Recognition boosts morale and business. The engagement equation, linking recognition to productivity and retention. Employee engagement refers to the level of emotional commitment and discretionary effort that individuals invest in their work. Recognition plays a pivotal role in fostering this sense of engagement. When employees feel valued, they are more likely to be motivated, productive and committed. Recognition boosts productivity and helps companies retain valuable talent. Beyond the paycheck, the power of intrinsic motivation. Now let's address the elephant in the room, shall we? Money talks, as they say, and there's no denying that fair compensation is essential for attracting and retaining talent. However, my friends, while a hefty paycheck might motivate individuals in the short term, it's not enough to sustain long-term engagement and job satisfaction. This is where the concept of intrinsic motivation comes into play. Intrinsic motivation, you see, stems from within. It's about finding joy and fulfilment in the work itself, rather than being driven solely by external rewards. And guess what plays a significant role in fostering intrinsic motivation? You guessed it, recognition. When employees feel appreciated for their unique skills and contributions, when their work is acknowledged as meaningful and impactful, it taps into their intrinsic motivation fueling their passion and driving them to achieve even greater heights. The neuroscience of recognition. How appreciation lights up the brain. Now let's delve into the fascinating realm of neuroscience, shall we? Because, my friends, it turns out that receiving recognition doesn't just feel good, it actually triggers a cascade of positive neurological responses in the brain. Studies have shown that when we receive praise or appreciation, our brains release dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure, motivation and reward. This surge of dopamine creates a feeling of well-being and reinforces the behaviours that led to the recognition in the first place. Furthermore, recognition has been shown to activate the same brain regions that are involved in social bonding and trust. This suggests that when we feel appreciated by our colleagues and superiors, it strengthens our sense of belonging and connection within the workplace. So there you have it, my friends. Scientific proof that recognition isn't just a touchy-feely HR concept, it's a powerful tool for enhancing employee well-being, motivation and performance. The case for fairness addressing the gender and diversity gap in recognition. Now, it's important to acknowledge that the experience of recognition in the workplace is not always equitable. Studies have shown that women, people of colour and individuals from marginalised groups often receive less recognition than their white male counterparts, even when their performance is comparable. This disparity, my friends, is not only unfair, but it also represents a significant missed opportunity for organisations. When individuals feel undervalued or overlooked because of their gender, race or other aspects of their identity, it creates a sense of exclusion and undermines their motivation and commitment. To address this issue, organisations need to take proactive steps to ensure that their recognition programmes are inclusive and equitable. This involves examining existing recognition practices for potential biases, diversifying the criteria used to evaluate and recognise employees, and creating a culture where everyone feels comfortable giving and receiving appreciation.
Cultivating a culture of appreciation, from top-down to peer-to-peer. -to -peer. Now, let's talk about how organisations can foster a culture of appreciation, where recognition is not just a once-a-year event, but rather an integral part of the organisational DNA. Creating such a culture requires a multifaceted approach. It starts with leadership setting the tone from the top, demonstrating their own appreciation for employees and encouraging a culture of recognition throughout the organisation. But it's not just about top-down recognition, my friends. Peer-to-peer -peer recognition, where colleagues acknowledge and appreciate each other's contributions, can be just as powerful, if not more so. Encouraging employees to recognise each other's efforts, whether through informal shout-outs, thank-you notes or small tokens of appreciation, can go a long way in creating a more positive and supportive work environment. The power of storytelling, weaving narratives of success and appreciation. Now let's talk about the power of storytelling, shall we? Because, my friends, humans are hardwired for stories. Stories have the power to captivate our imaginations, evoke emotions and inspire action. In the context of employee recognition, storytelling can be a powerful tool for amplifying the impact of appreciation. Instead of simply announcing awards or listing accomplishments, organisations can weave compelling narratives around employee achievements, highlighting the challenges they overcame, the impact they made, and the recognition they received. These stories can be shared through internal communication channels, company newsletters, social media platforms, or even during team meetings. By showcasing real-life examples of employee success and appreciation, organisations can inspire others, reinforce desired behaviours and create a more engaging and meaningful work experience. Measuring the impact. Quantifying the ROI of recognition programmes. Now, I know what you're thinking, my friends, this all sounds lovely, but how do we measure the return on investment of employee recognition programmes? After all, in the business world, we need to be able to justify every expense, every initiative. Well, the good news is that measuring the impact of recognition programmes is becoming increasingly sophisticated. There are now tools and methodologies available that allow organisations to track key metrics, such as employee engagement, productivity, retention, customer satisfaction, and even bottom line profitability, and correlate those metrics with their recognition efforts. By analysing this data, organisations can gain valuable insights into the effectiveness of their recognition programmes, identify areas for improvement, and demonstrate the tangible business value of investing in employee appreciation. The future of recognition, embracing technology and personalization. Now, let's take a glimpse into the future, shall we? The world of work is constantly evolving and employee recognition is no exception. With the rise of technology and the increasing focus on personalization, we can expect to see significant innovation in the realm of employee recognition in the years to come. Digital platforms are emerging that allow for more timely, personalised and meaningful recognition experiences. These platforms often incorporate elements of gamification, social sharing and peer-to-peer -peer recognition, making it easier for employees to recognise and appreciate each other's contributions in real time. Furthermore, these platforms can be integrated with other HR systems, such as performance management and compensation, allowing for a more holistic and data-driven approach to recognition. A call to action, empowering leaders to become champions of recognition. Leaders at all levels have a crucial role in creating a culture where recognition thrives. They need to be champions of appreciation, role models who demonstrate the power of recognition. Empower your teams to recognise and appreciate each other's contributions. A simple thank you can brighten someone's day and boost morale. Let's strive to be more appreciative of those around us. A workplace where everyone feels valued is more productive and successful. Strategies for the reliable to shine brighter. 
Let's roll up our sleeves and get down to brass tacks. How can reliable workhorses claim the recognition they deserve? We've got a toolkit full of strategies to help you shine brighter. Embrace strategic self-promotion. A subtle shift in mindset can work wonders. Let your accomplishments be known. Your work is your masterpiece. Share it with the world. The art of subtle self-promotion, letting your accomplishments speak for themselves. Now I understand that the very phrase self-promotion can send shivers down the spine of our more reserved viewers. It conjures up images of slick salespeople and obnoxious show-offs, doesn't it? But fear not, my friends, for self-promotion, like a fine single malt, can be enjoyed with a touch of subtlety and finesse. The key is to let your accomplishments do the talking for you. Don't be afraid to highlight your successes during team meetings, subtly weaving them into conversations with your manager. When sending out work updates, quantify your achievements with clear metrics. Instead of simply stating project completed on time, try project completed two weeks ahead of schedule, resulting in a 15% budget saving. Remember, my friends, the goal is not to brag, but to ensure that your contributions are recognised and appreciated. Think of it as providing valuable information to those who may not have the time or inclination to dig for it themselves. Building your network. Cultivating relationships that matter. Now let's move on to the art of networking, shall we? For many of our reliable comrades, the very word evokes images of awkward cocktail parties and forced conversations. But fear not, my friends, for networking, like a well-tended garden, can be a source of both pleasure and professional nourishment. Start by nurturing the relationships you already have. Engage with colleagues from different departments, attend company events, and make an effort to get to know the people you interact with daily. Remember, building a strong network is not about collecting business cards, it's about cultivating genuine connections. And don't underestimate the power of online networking platforms like LinkedIn. Craft a compelling profile that showcases your skills and experience and actively engage with others in your field. You never know what opportunities might arise from a simple connection. Seeking out mentors and sponsors. Finding your champions in the workplace arena. Now, my friends, let's talk about the importance of seeking out mentors and sponsors. Think of these individuals as your personal board of directors, your champions in the workplace arena. A mentor with their experience and wisdom can provide invaluable guidance and support, helping you navigate the twists and turns of your career path. A sponsor, on the other hand, is someone who believes in your potential and is willing to advocate for you behind closed doors. They can open doors to new opportunities, champion your cause during promotion discussions and provide valuable insights into the unspoken rules of the game. Don't be afraid to reach out to individuals you admire whose career trajectories you aspire to emulate. Express your admiration, your desire to learn and your willingness to contribute. Remember, mentorship and sponsorship are two-way streets. Be prepared to offer your time, your skills, and your unwavering support in return. Now, my dear viewers, let's address the elephant in the room, or rather, the rapidly evolving technological landscape that's transforming the modern workplace at breakneck speed. What worked yesterday might be obsolete tomorrow, and the only constant is change itself. That's why it's crucial, my friends, to embrace a mindset of continuous learning. Never stop honing your skills, expanding your knowledge base, and staying abreast of the latest industry trends. The moment you become complacent is the moment you start to fall behind. Seek out opportunities to learn new software, attend industry conferences, Enroll in online courses or simply make time for reading books and articles that challenge your thinking and broaden your horizons. Remember, the more you learn, the more valuable you become as an asset to your organisation.
Mastering the art of communication, communicating your value with clarity and confidence. Now let's talk about a skill that's often overlooked, but is absolutely essential for career advancement, the art of communication. You see, my friends, it's not enough to simply possess a wealth of knowledge and experience. You need to be able to articulate your value, your ideas and your contributions in a clear, concise and compelling manner. Start by honing your written communication skills. Practice crafting clear and concise emails, reports and presentations. Pay attention to grammar, punctuation and formatting, for even the smallest errors can detract from your message. When speaking in meetings, project your voice, maintain eye contact and speak with conviction. Remember, confidence is contagious and people are more likely to listen to and believe in someone who believes in themselves. Setting boundaries and prioritizing your well-being. Avoiding the trap of overwork and undervaluation. Now, my dear workhorses, let's address a common pitfall that many reliable individuals fall into. The trap of overwork and undervaluation. Because you're so dependable, so willing to go the extra mile, it's easy to become the go-to person for every task, every project, every last-minute fire drill. While your dedication is admirable, my friends, it's essential to set healthy boundaries and prioritize your own well-being. Learn to say no gracefully but firmly when necessary. Don't be afraid to delegate tasks or negotiate deadlines. Remember, you are not a machine and you deserve to have a life outside of work. Make time for activities that bring you joy and replenish your energy. Whether it's spending time with loved ones, pursuing hobbies, or simply indulging in some well-deserved relaxation, prioritizing your well-being is not selfish. It's essential for maintaining your productivity and sanity in the long run. Embrace your reliability. It's your superpower. Wield it wisely. Embrace your reliability. It's not a weakness. It's your superpower. It sets you apart from the unreliable. But wield it wisely. Set boundaries, communicate your value. Ensure your contributions are recognized. The Reliable Revolution. A call to action for recognition and reward. And so, my friends, we come to the end of our exploration into the often overlooked world of the reliable office workhorse. We've journeyed through the annals of history, delved into the depths of psychology, and uncovered the compelling evidence that underscores the importance of recognizing and rewarding these unsung heroes of the workplace. But it's not enough to simply acknowledge the problem, my friends. It's time to spark a revolution, a revolution of recognition, a renaissance of reward for those who form the very bedrock of our organizations. Let us banish the notion that the squeaky wheel gets the grease that only the loudest voices deserve to be heard. Let us create a world where quiet dedication, unwavering commitment and consistent excellence are celebrated with the same fervour as flashy innovation and audacious risk-taking. Unleashing your potential. M. Joga Coaching and Consulting as your ally. Now, my dear viewers, if you've resonated with the themes we've discussed today, if you're ready to step out of the shadows and claim the recognition you deserve, then I invite you to embark on a transformative journey with us at M. Joga Coaching and Consulting. We are more than just career coach and consultants, my friends. We are your trusted allies, your champions in the arena of career advancement. Our team of experienced consultants understands the unique challenges faced by reliable, hardworking individuals like you, and we've developed proven strategies to help you break free from the cycle of overwork and undervaluation. Whether you're seeking guidance on self-promotion, networking, communication, or simply need a supportive ear and a fresh perspective, we're here to help you unlock your full potential and achieve your career aspirations. A final thought, the enduring legacy of the reliable workhorse. The reliable workhorse, the unsung hero, the quiet achiever. These are not merely job titles, but embodiments of enduring human qualities. From ancient stonemasons to modern office workers, 
Their legacy is one of quiet dedication and unwavering commitment. So, let us celebrate these individuals, my friends, recognize their contributions and reward their efforts, for it is the steady and reliable who truly make the world go